since we are now embarking on a new presidential campaign, can you believe it's time for that already? Uh, we are already looking at the spouses of the candidates, and I say spouses instead of wives, because the Clinton entrance into the campaign kind of changes the whole dynamic and what our definition of a first spouse might be. So that will be something we'll be thinking about as well. Well, to whet your appetite for what you're going to see ahead, before I introduce our panelists, I want to show you a priceless piece of film. This is from the National Archives collection from the Truman Library, 1945, National Airport, a place we all know very well, when Bess Truman, brand new first lady, was asked to do a very early event to christen a, an air ambulance and watch what happened. Let's take a look. At the National Airport, ambulances with wings, one each for Navy and Army, ready to be christened by Mrs. Harry S. Truman, who, with her daughter Margaret, will do the honors in her first public appearance. But Mrs. Truman is in for a surprise. By an oversight, the champagne bottle, unlike this one, hasn't been properly prepared to break the glass on impact, and glass cutting is behind successful christenings like these. Now Mrs. Truman, unaware that her bottle is not prepared, Mrs. Truman kept her cool, as you could see, but guess what she was feeling inside? Mortally embarrassed. And what, what happened as a result of that is she elected not to do any more public appearances. Now, that's not a possibility for women today who hold this role, because with the next presidency, the Eisenhower administration, television burst onto the scene and began following first ladies everywhere. Bess Truman was really the last who was able to live a private life as much as she could while she was in the White House.